What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be checking out this Warped Reality Galaxy Opal Penny Hardaway card. Very, very excited about this card. It is a point guard that is 6'7". He is very, very tall for a point guard position. A 96 three ball, 95 driving dunk, 88 ball handle. He can curry a slide behind the back. 85 block, 96 steal, and a 94 perimeter. He does, uh, does have clamps as well, but we'll get into those later. 96s across all of the speeds, which is very, very good, as well as lateral quick and his stamina is 95. In terms of his badges, he has 39 Hall of Fame badges. I haven't touched any, so I haven't added any. I have added the one bronze badge for the uh, for the challenge that was one of the dailies today. However, he does have a lot of Hall of Fame badges, as you can see here, and 20 additional gold ones. So he does have a lot of badges, which is very, very good. We're going to chuck him on to an unlimited game and see how well he can do online, and then we'll jump into a triple threat game and see how well he can do in a 3v3 format. Alright, if we're waiting for what seemed like ages, we have finally got a game against someone. I think his name was, yeah, R Jazz or something. He's got a pretty decent lineup as well. He's got JJJ at his starting centre, but the main show today is this Penny Hardaway. We'll get him going, see what he's like. I have played a few games with him online. Probably not a great start there. We did play a few games online with him on stream. If you guys were there for that, you definitely saw how much I love this card already. So, we'll try to get a few more shots for him, play a bit of defence and see how many points we can score. Alright, so this guy is quite decent though, so I, um, I don't have to uh, I actually have to uh, concentrate quite a bit here. We'll get the step inside and the nice reverse dunk there. So you can see his dunk packages. He does have some nice ones. So far, I actually haven't seen any of the weird kind of like cockback ones that usually get blocked. So that's a good sign so far. But this card is a buy now. I'm pretty sure we managed to get him for under, I think it was like 67k. So it is quite cheap. And uh, obviously his price is going to continue to go down with these uh, guaranteed packs that the, uh, that the Warped Reality packs came out with. He is guaranteed to go down in price. So if you definitely, uh, if you look at this video and think he will fit your lineup, then definitely look at investing in him. All right, he got the step here and transition, and we slam it home with the one hand slam with Penny here. Four of our four points here with Penny. I do like him quite a bit. Like the only thing that's frustrating me, obviously, like everyone's starting to get really good cards, so defense isn't really. It's becoming a lot easier for people to off ball. So unfortunately, that is something that I do have to take in consideration. People are going to off ball, and the Hoff clamps and 90 plus the perimeter defense really will come into show here. You can see he's running a 2 3 zone, which means we might have to kick a bit more than we would. Uh, but you can see there we do get fouled. So we'll test out this free throw actually. I know he's, uh, I think one of his challenges is to get free throws with him. So we'll try score as many free throws as possible here and work our way to this JR. I've been very, very, uh, la I've been lacking a lot with this JR recently. Um, I will have by the end of the week or by this time next week have that JR gameplay out in this channel. So make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see that when it comes out. Got a break here with this Penny Hardaway card. Justice Winslow is right there. We get the foul, we get the shot, and we get the end one. He's a second foul for Winslow and the eighth point there for this Penny Hardaway. The shot there is good, and we have nine halfway through this first quarter. This will probably be our last play for this quarter with this Penny Hardaway card. Oh, great defense there from that guy. You can see he is off-balling. He's sitting in the corner, which is completely fine. He's predicting those passes, so props to the guy. But you can see Penny is getting tired so we're not going to do it like a lot of other YouTubers do and try to play with him being tired and whatnot. We will sub him off. We will we will get him back in the game and we'll see how many more points we can score with him in the second quarter. I right, see an opportunity here to get this penny open. We'll try curry slide get that crab going and we get that a three. I'm not sure if they've given us a three for that. They have so we do get that curry slide that hesitation behind the back there behind the three point line and we have 12 first quarter points with this penny hard away. Oh, Penny, I did not expect that layup. That, I thought it was going to be a, like a little scoop layup. But Penny with the turnaround slam there on Winslow, and now he's 14. I still haven't managed to sub him off yet. There has not been a whistle so far. So still with this 14 points so far with this Penny. This guy's shooting with uh, with stick, which is a bit interesting. Stick and meter, which is never a good combination. So um, it is still a close game. As I said, I mean, I did say at the start I was going to try not score all the points with this Penny card. But so far, I pretty much have been. Uh, there's 28 seconds seconds left in this first quarter. Try to get that cross there. Or they a dash to the corner, diamond badge, and we get the green with Clyde to go. So that is 14 and 1 with the first quarter. And coming to a close here for this Penny Hardaway card. This uh this guy that I'm playing against is hitting full wide after full wide. It's quite uh quite interesting to be honest. I'm gonna start pulling up for that mid-range I reckon. This guy's doing this 2-3 zone. He's got very, very good cards. If you guys haven't seen already, he's aiming like that. I'm surprised that one didn't go in because the majority of them 
them have been. We'll try Dime another. Is that Clyde Drexler again on the hash there? 8% covered, and supposedly that's enough to stop him. So a bit unfortunate there not to make that one, but we'll clamp up again here. Going corner, potentially. No, I think he does have pressures as well. So this guy, this guy is, uh, he spent a little bit of money on the game, but props to him, you know, it's, it's uh, definitely well worth it. I've got a lot of gameplays coming out of a lot of these new Warped Reality cards coming out. So if you guys don't want to miss them, then definitely consider subscribing to the channel. A dot in the corner, or potentially it could have been maybe fake pass over that way. Fake pass back. We got them both to move, actually. Back to D-Rob. Oh, no, we're going to have to go back to the top here. All right, let's work out what we want to do in the corner. Green from the corner with Paul Millsap. And I was surprised that went in. Honestly, with the amount of shots we've been making today, I was very surprised that didn't miss. So 17 and 4 here with his penny card. Alrighty, on another break here with Penny. The drive inside, we get one of those weird animations, but if you don't have enough coverage, they will always go in. You've got to have that confidence to keep holding that shot. If you're timing your shots, you've got to keep holding them, even if you get that animation, because there's a high chance that they can end up going in. So we've got 19 points here. Great defense there on Kevin Durant. Another push of the break here with Penny. Maybe enough room there. That's definitely enough room for Penny. 3% covered, and we hit the full white again. So 22 points. It's now a very, very good showing from Penny. Pushing here with this Penny card out to D-Rob. D-Rob with the drive. That shot was a bit more contested. But as I said before, two in a row there of those weirdly contested shots. And because the coverage isn't large enough and because these cards do have enough close shot and mid-range, we are able to make them. This guy's luck is beginning to run out as we get another pass inside. Paul Millsap with the N1 dunk there over Kevin Durant. So this guy's luck on the offensive end is definitely running out as well as the defensive end. We're getting a lot of good shots inside here and a few of those cheeky, uh, those, those contested shots are going. So we are doing quite well passing as well with this penny. Obviously having a 6-7 point guard is a very, very good thing to have in current gen and next gen. 22 and 6 assists now with penny. 40 seconds left in this third quarter here. Dot to the corner for Kuzma, who I'll also be doing a gameplay on later in this week. Maybe the one after this. So two days after this episode goes out, we'll have a Kyle Kuzma video going out. So make sure you guys stick around to watch that one if you're interested as well. Uh, we're going to sub these guys out and get our bench on for the start of the fourth, and then we'll bring it back on to finish the fourth quarter off. Alrighty, in the final 30 seconds here of the game, we we'll try to get some shots up more with this card. Oh my goodness, that nearly went in then. You can see Kuzma getting some rebounds there, which is very, very good. Let's focus in real quick. All the dime to Kuzma. We won't shoot as much with Kuzma now. Oh, we've got three seconds. Pull that quickly. Very, very late in the shot clock. And that was early as well. So you can see there, if you're a proper player and you don't muck around with cards like I don't, um, then you, you're most likely going to have a lot of fun in fives, especially with this card. You can see I'm just trying to get it to him. I think he's realized I'm trying to score as well with this card. Not entirely sure, though. But GG to this guy. We'll have a look at the box score and see how well we do with this Penny Hardaway in a fives setting. All right, guys. Unfortunately, the menu was kind of glitched when I exited that unlimited game and I couldn't access the box score but from memory here about 25 and 10 I know I got a double double with him so he had about 25 and 10 the shooting wouldn't have been fantastic let's be honest I was chucking up some pretty terrible shots there but you guys can see uh, we do have the Kyle Korver and the Kyle Kuzma so the Kyle Kuzma I'll do a gameplay on and I'll do the Kyle Kuzma uh, Kyle Korver gameplay over on TikTok I'm going to start a new little pink diamond and below TikTok uh, series over there if you guys want to go see that but for now we're concentrating on this pink Penny Hardaway. I love this card. I'm not going to do a triple threat game. I think what I'll do from now on is just do an unlimited game. And if the opponent quits, I'll do another one if I need to. But from now on, I really, I really, really love this Penny card. If you were on stream earlier, and if you'd like to be in the stream, uh, go across to my Twitch channel if you'd like to be over there. It is Chooka2K. Uh, actually, no, it's DW underscore Chooka. If you'd like to go across there and, and uh, be part of kind of uh, the choices that we make for this team, you can see here, I'll show you guys my actual team if you weren't aware. We've made quite a few changes here. We've got Penny in the staying line. We've got Kyle Kuzma. Um, we got rid of uh, we got rid of Ray Allen. Ray Allen, who you guys know is one of my favorite cards, but the chat suggested that I pick up Kyle Korver and replace him with them. Uh, I also got rid of um, uh, Alice. I got rid of Alice as well. He's out of there. We've got this. It's a pretty decent team. I really like this team. The next spot that I really want to upgrade is probably that backup center or this Clyde Drexler. Um, I really like Clyde. I'm starting to like Paul Millsap a lot more, but we'll focus more on this card. Overall, love this card. If you have 
have the MT. As I said, he's under 70k now from what I know. So it's a very, very cheap card. It's a 6-7 point guard. Okay, you can't go wrong with a 6-7 point guard. Um, the only downside I would say is maybe that speed. But unless you want to put like a speech on him, he's still not a 96 speed is still very, very good. Don't get me wrong at all. The stamina does go down a little bit. It's a 95. You can, you know, get around that. He does have hounds for days. Now, besides that, this card's pretty much perfect. I'll be honest. It's a 6-7 point guard. You can't go wrong with it. A 94 defense on him. That'll help a lot. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have this penny and what are your thoughts on him down below. If you didn't see my tweet earlier in the week, which came out yesterday at the time that this video is coming out, um, I've got a penny hard away. I've got, actually, I'll show you guys right now just so you guys can uh, kind of prepare prepare yourselves for what's coming out. So we're going to have a Shaquille O'Neal, a Ben Simmons, Penny, which was today, a Kyle Kuzma in two days, um, and also going to be looking at the Bowl Bowl card as well. So we'll have those coming out, as well as Mr. J.R. Smith when we get in finally. I'm a 35k VC away, um, XP away, I should say. So not that much further, and we should be able to do a Galaxy Opal, sorry, a Dark Matter gameplay on him. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.